Welcome back my friends. Today it's really windy. There is a little storm here. The name is Oscar. So hopefully this will not be something huge. Uh, today video will be about beaches. So we are going to explore a few beaches. I'm pretty sure you know well two of them but then there is another one that I want to show to it to you so we can see a few clouds but basically it's really sunny So, we are reaching the first stop. The name is Playa del Castillo. So, it's not the best day to come here because it's really windy, like I said. Uh, I need to hold my, my hat. So, I will try to do it, no problem. Here we are in Playa del Castillo. As you can see here, there are some toilets in white. The green that you can see over there, these are the old toilets. So now we use the white ones.
so damn that's so windy okay I'm up well this is also Fuerteventura so usually it's not that strong but today it's really strong wow what the f is that can you see it clouds are full of sand Woo. that's crazy that is crazy So, so what I wanted to say is this beach is situated in the heart of Carita de Fuste and it's also a really a picturesque setting. Have a look. You can see there is golden sand stretched along the shoreline. It's really nice. Usually, <laughs> this place provides a nice and relaxing spot when it's not windy like that. <laughs> Let's see if I can find a place. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Usually this place is perfect to sunbath, but I mean for sunbathing. But of course today is not the best day. Even if it's hot, it's really hot. But I mean, look. Oh, yeah. The good thing is Playa del Castillo is known. <laughs> shallow waters, making it suitable for swimming and water activities. The beach is well maintained and offers various amenities, including sunbed, umbrella, there is a beach bar over there, we just pass it, and you have toilets, so it's really nice. Okay, so now we are at the second location <laughs> and hopefully there is a little bit less wind so I can do the video, I mean normally. So the second beach, really famous as well, like the first one, Playa del Castillo. This is La Guira. La Guira is really famous because there is this chiringuito. Chiringuito is a little bar, little restaurant. It refers more at little restaurant than bar. But this is the typical Canarian, Canarian word for the old school restaurants, like I said before in an early video. So, Playa de la Guida is just here where you can see the Sheraton Hotel. And here you have the Elba, Elba Carlota, I think. And between these two hotels, you have La Guira Beach. So La Guira Beach is a bit longer from here to there. Yeah, it's a nice place. It's just 
nearby Playa del Castillo. Playa del Castillo is just over there. So this place is a really attractive beach in Camita de Fuste. It's slightly smaller, but equally beautiful, of course. Okay, so this beach is characterized by this blue lagoon that you can see. So I don't know if on the camera you can see it, but it's really like a nice blue turquoise water. Woo! Woo! That's crazy! beautiful <laughs> but it's so windy so I was saying this beach is characterized by its blue water chocolate blue water which are particularly inviting for swimming and snorkeling yeah the water is really crystal clear this tranquil atmosphere and gentle wave make a popular choice for the family and to seeking a relaxing beach experience. nice because along this place along this beach you can find over there a bit more over there you can find some coffee some restaurants I mean it's really nice that's perfect today with the wind like that it's not really enjoyable so I'm going to head back to my car I think today is not the best way best day to do a nice video it's super windy and it's all my heart so it's really really windy and because it's so windy most of the people are not outside there is so little few people outside. It's a day to stay by the pool, I mean. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the final and next destination. And maybe you don't know about this one. And this is the last destination and we are in Las Salinas the real name is Las Salinas del Carmen and uh, so you have a little beach here and this one is not touristy at all it's really beautiful here but still it's really windy So, which is known for its natural beauty and historical significance. You know why? You know why? Because the Salinas del Carmen used to be, we can see it over there in this direction. This place used to be and still be, but it's more like a museum now. So there is the salt museum over there in the back so today it's really a popular place for walking and enjoying the tranquility of its landscape as you can see here as well as for bird watching let's have a walk around here Yeah, 
at the reserve up here we can see it over there there is the Los Caracolitos it's a really tiny and typical Canarian restaurant there is really really few people living here Let's have a good quick walk around. There is a dog here. El Muellito. And this one is real sand. So it's nice. There are a few cars, not so many people, but I mean, it's nice. Oscar Carlitos. Look this landscape, look. This is beautiful. Really love it. <laughs> like a really nice place and a little bit more secluded if I can say so thank you for watching if you have any comment you can drop a comment I will respond and if you have any question I will try to answer it thank you and see you in the next video